It's day two of our um, study on Philemon, and it's the theme today is the salutation in Philemon 1 to 3. Today we dive deeper into the intimate opening of Paul's letter to Philemon. These introductory verses may seem uh, customary or procedural at first glance, but they pack significant weight and meaning. Paul provides not just a warm introduction, but also sets the foundation for his forthcoming appeal. Paul, a prisoner of Christ Jesus, and Timothy, our brother, to Philemon, our dear friend and fellow worker. You know, Paul addresses to Philemon isn't impersonal or distant, even though it's written in the midst of chains. Instead, it reflects the depth of relationship. The terms dear friend and fellow worker reveal their mutual respect, shared ministry and intimate bond. Paul isn't addressing a mere acquaintance. He's speaking to a cherished co-laborer in the gospel. And it goes on to say, Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. This is a customary greeting in Paul's letters, but why these words specifically? The choice is intentional. Grace, the unmerited favour and love of God, is foundational to the Christian message. It's the same, it's this grace, same grace that Paul will later invoke when when appealing to Onesimus. Peace, the wholeness and the well-being brought about by God's presence is the desired state of every relationship. As we see, Paul's letter seeks to restore such peace between Philemon and Onesimus. Though the letter revolves around Onesimus, the foundation is Paul's relationship with Philemon. The Apostle doesn't begin with an immediate demand. Instead, he reminds Philemon of the shared faith, mission and history. By emphasising their partnership, Paul creates a platform of mutual respect and camaraderie. This context makes his ensuing appeal more personal and compelling. In this salutation, we get a sense of the gravity of the letter and the relationships involved. It's not just about a return of a runaway slave. It's a heartfelt plea anchored in brotherhood, shared mission and the transformative power of grace and peace. As we move forward, let's uh, keep these foundational elements in mind, observing how They resonate through the entirety of Paul's message to Philemon. Plus also, let's remember each other as we journey together on our walk of faith in this day and age. So we come to the end of today and uh, look forward to uh, to speaking to you tomorrow.